And this is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio. We're covering Army football practice. The Black Knights will play Abilene Christian at Mikey Stadium on Saturday. And we have a chance to talk with Army junior wide receiver, and that is Michael Roberts, who's from Charlotte, North Carolina. Michael, how are you t doing today? How is practice? I'm doing well. Uh, practice was good today. Uh, it's, we went out there, uh, started to initiate the game plan and just, you know, taking it day by day and trying to get better for Saturday. Absolutely. And uh, against Cincinnati, you had a, a big role. You had three catches for 46 yards uh, connecting with your quarterback, Christian Anderson. Tell us a little bit about what it was like to uh, make those couple, those three uh, pass plays. Yeah, so uh, we're known for having a uh, more tougher job, you know, blocking out there on the perimeter, trying to secure, uh, secure the perimeter to get our run game going. And, you know, we get very limited uh, options and uh, chances to put in the air. So just trying to connect on all of those plays whenever I get the opportunity, I just want to come down with the play. Uh, Christian he did a good job making the uh, balls catchable, and the O-line did a great job just protecting to get the – uh, whole play started. So uh, without without the rest of the offense, uh, like that wouldn't have been able to happen. Yeah. Now, what is it like uh, when – because you don't really have a huddle that much anymore. Uh, when when you hear the signal that, that uh, it's going to be a pass play to you, what is what goes off in your head about uh, about uh, what you have to do when, when uh, they're going to throw the ball towards you? Uh, so we practice that, uh, that hurry-up offense every week. So just – trying to get my assignment done like i see this i see the signal i know i have to run a certain route i run that route as a part of the concept and hopefully if i'm open christian will get me the ball absolutely now tell us a little bit from you're from charlotte uh uh where a number of army football players are, have been from uh tell us a bit about where you uh you played high school football and why you decided to come up to west point if you would yeah so i did my first three years at Fulpleberry academy of technology i uh, played there we didn't have the strongest football program. Uh, I went there to initially play basketball. Uh, the wide receiver coach had taught me into playing football. And at first I was just gonna go out there just to lift weights and get stronger for the basketball season. But uh, I was blessed, you know, certain opportunity, uh, certain situations happened. We had receivers transfer out. So I was, I was able to start uh, my sophomore year when I decided to play. And I fell in love with the, with the sport again. So just going out there with, with some of the guys I grew up with uh, grinding every day, it was just a wonderful opportunity. Um, I got the got the offer uh, towards like my last couple of weeks at Philip Berry. I transferred over to Vance High School. Uh, I went to school with Nate Jones. He had also uh, graduated from Vance and committed up here. After Nate committed, I had I had also wanted to commit. And just hearing the stuff that the coaches were uh, – we're talking to me about with the school and the opportunities here uh, for like the opportunity to play division one football and an education that is like no other. And then the ability to serve my country afterwards is just a full 40 year plan. And so I chose the 40 year plan over the four year plan. Absolutely. Uh, uh, you'll do very well in the army. And, uh, and one of the things I wanted to ask you about is you have a, you were National Honor Society in high school, which is a tremendous honor and recognition. Uh, what did it take to become that good a student? Uh, what, what did you enjoy studying when you were in high school? Uh, so honestly, my mom, she pushed for academics when we were younger. And it was just a certain thing about school. I, I don't really know what it was, but I just always wanted to do my best and, and show people that I could be more than just an athlete. Uh, my favorite part about always being on the honor roll and the National Honor Society and stuff like that is like people people know me for being pretty good at sports. So like they see me at the honor roll, be like, oh Mike, I didn't know you were smart too. Uh, so that that type of stuff, it was it was just always cool. My favorite subject growing up was was definitely math. Um, my teacher she she found out something early when I was in kindergarten. She she knew I was. Uh, smart. So like at the end of the kindergarten year, she sent me home with multiplication flashcards. And by the time I started my first grade year, me and my mom started doing multiplication with the calendar. So that was five years old doing like five times 31, you know, just uh, things like that. And numbers just kind of came natural. So well, you have a talent. You have a talent for STEM. Now, how are you translating? How are you uh, utilizing that? What are you studying at West Point? 
So um, when I was at Barry, there is STEM Academy, and I started uh, biomedical science. So when I came here, I wanted to do kinesiology. It's a very competitive major. Um, we only had 13 slots for my class. Unfortunately, I didn't get one of those slots, so I uh, went to life science, and that's really a, like heavy on chemistry and biology. And uh, that major was great. However, for me to continue that major, uh, it was either going to be the major or football. And I just I just love football too much. I love my brothers too much to to have let that go. So I'm currently studying environmental science, and all my credits had transferred over as elective. So it's it's all great. I still get to do the science aspect of it, but now I get to see how ecosystems like work with each other. And I'm doing an independent study this semester and trying to see where the hot spots are on campus for lead contamination in the soil. Wow. Now that's great to hear that, uh, you know, how uh, your application to uh, yeah. different science and STEM majors available at West Point. That's uh, terrific uh, to hear about. Now you got a big, uh, a uh, football game. You're coming off uh, a kind of of a disappointment out at Cincinnati, uh, but uh, you got a, a game. Abilene Christian coming in, a team that's trying to assert itself in in Division One. Uh, what are your thoughts on preparing for Abilene Christian on Saturday? Well, just like every other school, they have talented athletes who are on scholarship and that can make big plays. So what we have to do is concentrate on fi uh, fixing some of the things that we didn't get done correctly on Saturday and then uh, transferring it over to having a better game on uh, this upcoming Saturday. Uh, so what, what we do is just initiate a game plan, take it every day, uh, day by day, you know, trying to make sure that we got all the assignments right and fix the things that we don't get right. So that way when it's game time on Saturday, we'll be able to execute. Absolutely, very good. You wanna say uh, hi to your folks back home, friends? Oh yes, I uh, love the city of Charlotte. Uh, Mom, love you. Miles, Mason, Mariah, keep your head up. I'll be home whenever I get to be get home. Uh, but uh, for all my friends and family, just stay safe, stay healthy. I love you all. Well, Michael Roberts, great to chat with you here, how you're doing extremely well at both football and academics at West Point, junior wide receiver number 14 from Charlotte. Great to chat with you. Best wishes from everybody at the American Legion. Thank you, Ken. Our pleasure. This is Ken Kreitzer covering Army football for Sons of the American Legion Radio.